In continuing with discussing these objects here, I'd like to cover the metaball, the atom array, and the null object. All right, the metaball <laughs> is a fairly interesting. I, I generally don't use you know, most of these. I mean, the, the objects that I use the most are array, symmetry, instance, and of course your null object. But uh, that's because I haven't probably because I haven't done a lot of animating. But I will probably get there at that point. So we make a sphere. Control drag and make another sphere and just let's move it up here. Drag it on the meta ball, just like the icon kind of indicates it. It makes them one mesh. So if we start moving a sphere around, it will interact with the other sphere here. So <coughs> you can get some fairly strange results with that. And of course, you're not restricted to balls. That uh, seems to work best. You do have some options here, <coughs> so you can determine that, how much detail you want, if you want to make less detail or more detail. Of course, that's in the renderer, so if we bring that down, we can have a lot more definition right inside the editor. Subdivision, if we render that, we can see the result. And of course, you notice that the geometry isn't all that pretty, but you still have your objects themselves are separate, so they interact with one another and uh, as I said you don't have to have a sphere you can have other shapes as well let's bring in a capsule okay let's uh, try that again let's uh, bump this up a little bit <laughs> There we go. I notice that's pretty big. Okay, one giant ball. Okay, so what's the deal here? Well, what the deal is, is it's set to it's the fall off. We set this to exponential fall off. We'll actually see our objects separately. Once again. And so now we can bring them together and see them interact with one another. Render that. And so we, we have, there's a this object is very strange. <laughs> it's a fun object to play with. Um, you notice, just notice it's just rendering the points on the cube, so it doesn't always exactly work uh, how you might expect it to. Sorry about that. So, we'll bring this back up some more. <laughs> we'll bring that off. Just one giant mass. We um, take that off. We, um, should I say? Also, notice render perfect. So if we do render it perfectly, um, regardless of what our oops, that's the, excuse me. Okay. <laughs> excuse me. That's the sphere. That actually does change though. If we take that off and have it separately, we render that. Just control R. Notice the sharp, the hard edges. If we actually do go to render perfect. It will render the edges just crisply nice and round there. Of course that's part of the sphere there. You can also bring these uh, bring these segments down would probably help a little bit. So the meta ball is available. It's uh, it's an interesting object to mess with. Might be able to use that for water effects or something of that nature. Now the atom array just takes Next, takes whatever object you have. Uh, let's go with a cone. And uh, breaks up the edges and points into geometry of, of their own. So if we actually drag the cone into the atom array, notice that's exactly what we get. So the, the sig so the actually, the edges are, are just cylinders and the points are spheres. Very, uh, very interesting object. Uh, Probably if you were building some kind of warehouse or something, this might might be able to come in handy. Just give you something to start to work with and uh, go from there. And of course, the null object. The null object. The humble null object is nothing. That's what null means. Nothing. There is nothing there. And so why is this item useful? Well, it's useful because you can put stuff in it. 
and which is the same as Alt G. You can group things in there, so it brings things together. So if you were wanting to perhaps uh, take a few different objects, let's take yeah, let's just take a couple, a few cubes. Here, and one cube, control drag, make another cube. Maybe add a few segments to it. If we're wanting to bring in a hypernerve, and we want it, we want to be able to turn turn it on and off on both of them to see what they look like smooth. Okay, but it's not smoothing this one. So if we bring that up, oh, okay, but it doesn't smooth this one over here. We could stick this cube inside of the other cube, but then we uh, make a hierarchy. We may not want that. Maybe the cubes are equal in some way, so we can just Alt G and all object in here, and it does both. So we're working on this. We can hit the Q button, disable and enable that hypernerve, and uh, we have the freedom of um, seeing what each one looks like when they're smooth. If we go to N A, which is the same as just ground shading or ground shading. Sorry. So uh, <coughs> we can see. But they both look like smooth. So that's the null object. Um, very useful. I mean, you can, and also, you can use it in your rigs. I know in my character rig, excuse me, null object. You can change what these are. Right now, it's a dot. It's nothing. It's a dot. You can actually select it if you get right over the dot. But you can um, change it to different things. You can change it to point or circle, rectangle. So you got a variety of shapes you can change it to. Now let's say you don't okay you don't like you move the camera around and it's the, it's the same shape. If you want to change that, you can uh, change the orientation right here. So all right, now you got a cube. You can actually see the cube now. So you can you can change that however you would like. Um, very helpful for just adding controls to your character. So um, pretty much covers the null object. Oh wait, except for color. If you'd like to add color to your null object, change this, change the orientation there. You can uh, change it right here. You can go to automatic, usually uh, nothing there, or always. And you can uh, change it. Oh, whoops. Is that the wrong thing? Oh, gotta enable it. Okay, use color, change color, automatic. There we go. So we can now we can change that color to something else that we would wish, or we can also use the enhanced color table, which is what I usually prefer. And you can uh, change the color of that, so you can actually determine what handles or what you can have the left side or the right side of the body, or maybe different uh, what they actually do. If one's for an elbow and the other is for a wrist, you can distinguish colors. So that now I think that actually does more or less cover the null object. So, and you get a few different uh, selections here. Shaded wire mode, if you use that mode. And of course, the other basics. Alright, I think that's about it.